Hello everybody, it's Chris Gearnor on the forums, theshavingcadre.com, here for my weekly video. It's nice, of course, as always, to be back with you all, uh, whether I'm gracing your phone or your TV in front of your family, like some. Um, pleasure to watch these videos, pleasure to do them. Um, today's just going to be kind of a regular shave, I guess, and catch up for what's going on. Um, it's been quite a week. Well, weekend really, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and it's going to be an interesting week this week as we get into the Thanksgiving, uh, coming Thursday, of course. Um, a lot of stuff going on, but uh, for today's shave, I've already done my prep with a modern puck of Williams. Uh, I just put a real sloppy lather on my face, nice and wet, get everything hydrated. I've got for my normal soap that I'm be shaving with Katie's Bubbles Unjour Gris, um, which is from a PIF I got from Nurse Dave a while back. I've been using this regularly, about once a weekish, once every half week and a half, something like that. Good clean scent, a little bit dark. I've got my Razor Rock Big Bruce feather, of course. Shave that with a pro blade in there. Razor Rock Game Changer. It's got the. What is it? I think it's Perma Sharp Super Max in there. Something like Or Super Max. That's what it is. Super Max Super Platinum. That's what it is. So far, I've had one shave with that uh, blade I've never used before. It's nice and smooth, um, almost like GSB, but I've got the classic Pitron aftershave. Nice green scent there. So I'll get started. I've been uh, blooming my Katie's. I've been learning to uh, make my loadings a little bit wetter in an effort to uh, get a lather built up more quickly. It seems to be working without uh, breaking the lather right away. It just takes a little bit of work to get the larger bubbles out. But uh, There's the towel. This is one of Katie's older formulas, I think. Katie's Bubbles. Not quite elite. But still a pretty good soap above above average. Above what you get out of a classic drugstore soap like Parasso or anything like that. So I had a nice weekend busy weekend but um, our church is has been keeping up on my journal has been doing prep work for a run to feed the hungry we are literally right next to the uh, Sacramento area's um, finish line and our campus for the first time whoa that flung off <laughs> is doing, uh, well, we've opened our campus to them so they can do their registration stuff and packet pickup and all that. Um, so literally the first day of packet pickup was Friday, I think, this last Friday, and we had a couple thousand people come through at campus which is, uh, I mean, on a Sunday, we'll get maybe a thousand people just like church attendees. But yeah, every day since Friday, we've had a couple thousand people come in. There's over, they estimate about 30,000 people that are going to be doing the run this year through Sacramento. So it's a lot of work. They are 
This is the 25th year though, and they're very efficient. The, the folks that are hosting the Sacramento Run to Feed the Hungry, they have like a major food bank, I think, that helps do it as the major sponsor, and then the company that actually r runs the run um, finds all the volunteers, or most of the official volunteers and whatnot, and times the race. They have an official uh, race company that does that. So I guess even though it's a fundraiser and it's still a like a fun run to do for a lot of people, there are some serious runners. Um, we're supposed to be getting um, some rainfall. Hopefully, there's like a 30 to 40 percent chance Wednesday and Thursday morning um, so that will hopefully help clear the air for them because we're still in the unhealthy range from the Butte County fires that are going on I mentioned in my last video Paradise um, nice cozy town in the woods a couple hours north of here is basically gone even the houses that are still standing that didn't get touched for whatever uh, God ordained reason or luck reason whatever have you um, probably have to be gutted anyway because of all the da smoke damage and Oh, we had at least one friend in that fire that their house survived, but they basically have to gut the house and rebuild it anyway because of the smoke damage. And then, of course, we know a couple people that have lost relatives, sadly. Didn't make it out of their houses or out of the area. So. That's still going on. They're getting it further under control, but. Still a pretty big concern for us. And then that doesn't even cover what's going on in Southern California, having the same issues. So that's that. This week will be busy with uh, more people coming through the church campus. Um, I work there and so I'm part of the team. Give me just a second. That lather blob was staring at me from the floor and I'm like, better not let the missus see that. <laughs> but so there's that going on. Uh, so besides working that, um, Thursday morning, I, I do have Thursday and Friday off, uh, from work, which is nice. And the kids have all week off from school, so we're spending a lot of time together. Whether it's running errands or hanging out. But, um, Thursday morning... We will be helping run the church coffee bar. That'll be Thursday, of course, the day of the Run to Feed the Hungry Race. We'll be running the church coffee bar for about half the morning before we head off to uh, my parents and the in-laws for like a double Thanksgiving. Always come back about 10 pounds heavier. Yeah, so it's going to be a busy week. I 
I do have to work this coming Saturday to get things ready for church, but I'll get a couple days off there. Thursday and Friday, so that'll be nice. What else? Um, oh, I just got done watching uh, Josh's first vector shave. Man, that is a beautiful razor. I commented before that, well, for the longest time, that I didn't even want to touch single edge razors. Just because I was enjoying my feather and shave it and uh, SR shaves and ID shaves. But ever since Dave in Kentucky sent that Jim uh, Jr. that I've been enjoying off and on, um, I kind of fell into the rabbit hole. The the AD bug has got a hold of me. I just, thankfully, don't have the wallet to carry through. But yeah, the general, colonial general, and the uh, black land vector are some beautiful, beautiful razors. Happy that those guys of the cadre that have those things were able to get them and to be able to watch them being used. How smooth they are, how good the shave looks. It's pretty cool. Um, I do. I do very generously. Uh, uh, Doc Holiday TJ is sending me one of his, I think it's a version 2 Razor Rock Hawk, which uh, is my level of, of uh, more along my level of, of uh, what do you want to call it, like buy-in, that $50 or $60 range of Razor. That's where I'm comfortable at right now. But uh, he's sending me along to try, and if I like it, uh, I get to, I get to keep it, which is pretty nice. So we'll see how that goes. That'll be my first AC style single edge. Some some razors like that general and the the vector are just works of art, and we don't completely understand the pricing. I mean, I know some R and D goes into the development, and the materials, of course, are probably top notch. These are like heirloom, lifetime, multi generation razors. If it could come to that, I mean, which is neat, but at the same time, we have like our Gillettes and stuff. I mean, they're not stainless steel, but they're still brass and nickel plated or gold plated or whatever, rhodium. Of course, the rhodium ones are, are on the expensive side, more than I'd pay, but the more working man versions. I mean, at the time, I'm sure they were kind of a stretch for some guys, a little bit, but they're still every man kind of shavers. They were sourced terribly out of range um, on the terms of like uh, some artisan razors are.
I mean, it's not a complaint. Artisans got to make their money, and and they're certainly well within their market-driven rights to set prices to what people will pay if the product's good enough. And in cases like those two razors, it certainly is. But me, I'm thankful for Razor Rock. Good old game changer. It might not be a Wolfman or something, but it'll be my Wolfman. But it is cool that some guys can are able to do that and experience those higher end things. Report back. We can live vicariously through their videos. <clears throat> uh, watching Josh, it was just really fun to see. You could see by the expressions on his face and the, the strokes, confident strokes he was making, how much fun he was having. Like you said, we're here to make our shaves enjoyable, and that's certainly what that razor did for him in the video today. So, hoping to dabble in an AC style single edges here soon. I entered in John's El Jefe. It reminds me of the three amigos. El Guapo! Hey, Jefe! Well, I entered in his PIF that he posted today. Very generous of him. Even if there's some QC issues, I understand it's, it's no worse than like a Dealing with a QC issue from FATIP or something like that on the Piccolo. Just takes a couple extra seconds to fiddle with it. So yeah, I mean I understand that's a, a little bit more aggressive than like a Hawk. And definitely more than a General or something, but it'll be fun to see someone experience that, whoever wins. So, maybe that can be the subject this week. Where did you go into this uh, hobby of ours? These traditional shaving, hallowed, hallowed fields of traditional shaving, expecting to get into. And what pulled you further than you expected? I suspect a lot of it has to do with the generosity of other people. And some of it might have to do with... Um, just artistic styles that you appreciated. And it, like, just like a car or a motorcycle or a piece of artwork, you're like, man, that looks awesome. I gotta have that. So... Yeah, maybe consider that this week. I'll be right back and I'll do some of my post shape. All right, back. All I really did was um, some wash up, some cold water wash and and my uh, lather soak that I like to do. Getting all that excess lather out of the brush and pasting it on my face. Got some witch hazel here. What else is going on? Uh, oh, I mentioned PIFs, PIFs, whatever you want to say. Uh, a lot of those going on. I hope some newer members continue joining in on those. If you're watching this video, go sign up, theshavingcadre.com. A lot of the PIFs going on have very minimal requirements. And it's a good way to get your foot in the door, 
If you're new to traditional shaving, getting a little bit of nice gear. Um, ha, ha, ha. But uh, I made that joke last time and I laughed at it. It's just, I don't know. It's funny, I guess. I'm a funny guy. What can I say? Um, but yeah, I have mine going on. Not a lot of interest, that's okay. Uh, not all those kinds of scents or aftershaves interest people, but it is a Black Friday uh, piff you can look for. Uh, I'm thinking of changing it up a little bit because of the lack of interest. I might just do a regular drawing. Um, it didn't quite go the way I expected. That's okay. Um, but uh, still uh, a few days to sign up for that. Whatever I decide to do, I'll, I'll let you guys know soon or if you uh, have an idea of how I should wrap it up instead of what I was planning of doing a mad grab of stuff, let me know in the comments. But um, yeah, considering that over the next couple days, how that's going to finish, uh, we'll probably not drag it out to the end of the month. That's for sure. But um, yeah, so there's that. Um, what else? A lot of good video content that's been coming up. As always, a lot of good banter on the forums. Bingo should be starting soon, probably the week after Thanksgiving. Jim just joined this morning. I think we have 13 now people. Um, you newer members or people watching should get in on that too. There's a prize at the end of that tunnel. Uh, if you happen to get the bingo, it's pretty fun. Uh, the way uh, numbers are called, very inventive. So something to pass the time you know, while you're twiddling your thumbs at work or whatever. Uh, hit us up, theshavingcadre.com. Uh, I'm going to finish with my classic pitcher lawn. A nice green scent to me. Good helping here. Dave was asking, Nurse Dave, if people comment on, because I work with a lot of people throughout the day, if they comment on, on the different scents, my different daily scents that I do, if anybody notices like, hey Chris, you smell different all the time. My answer was no. Either the aftershave is just too light or just doesn't last after a couple hours, a few hours. And I rarely follow up with, uh, well, maybe about half the week I'll follow up with a, uh, a frag if it happens to somewhat match what I've been wearing or what I shaved with. So, eh. I know a lot of other guys get compliments, but uh, usually if I do get a compliment, it's on my just on my fine stuff, but like bootleggers bay rum or pitcher lawn or um, uh, more classic aftershaves like that, they don't last a long time. They don't project out a lot. I mean, unless we're talking about Clubman, Pinod line or something like that. But uh, I mean, that's fine. It's a really, I still get to smell it mostly throughout the day, just from what's on my face and I'm sniffing my hands. But, uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess that's it for the week. Um, probably won't do another video before next week, uh, just given the holidays and what time I'll be spending with family and all that. If something special comes up, uh, maybe. But uh, and along those lines, uh, happy Thanksgiving to all you and yours out there in YouTube land and Shaving Cadre land or whoever's watching. Um, I hope it is a blessed time with uh, family and friends and um, good food, good dessert, and um, just a time to remember uh, all the things that uh, you've been blessed with, uh, whether it's a good job, uh, great family, your health, whatever it might be. Um, blessings to you this Thanksgiving holiday and your family. And I'll catch you next time. I'm Gear Noor, theshavingcadre.com. See you guys later. Bye.